Hello, Doug here. Welcome back to yet another board game channel and yet another turn of Eldritch Horror where we are doing battle to prevent syzygy from occurring. We're, we're, we're not doing too badly, but we're taking an awful long time to get things done. Um, I'm not sure if we can actually get our second mystery done before the omen track ticks around to the red omen space because at the end of the mythos phase if there are three tokens on the red mythos space which will happen in a couple of turns uh, it doesn't matter if we've solved the second mystery or not. We will just turn over the card and have to deal with the consequences. We we have a chance of doing it if everybody does if everybody does well. Uh, let's turn. Um, we'll see if they manage to do that. All right, um, well, let's just get into it and examine the state of things as we as we go along. Uh, we'll be going right into the investigator's action phase, starting with Skids O'Toole in Sydney. Okay, here's Skids in Sydney, Australia. Uh, we're going to try to get him up to... Well, we need to get everybody on the clues, if, it, if at all possible, unless they're already on spaces with Eldritch tokens, like, um, like Joe is. But we can get skids to one uh, if we, um, for his first action, grab a ship ticket. And for his second action, move and extend that move with the ship ticket, getting him up to space 18, 17, rather, where there's a clue token and an insane Mandy. Uh, we're just going to have to let Mandy be for now um, and deal with everything else. Uh, one thing we do need to do for Skids as he has moved, he has this hunted condition, which when you perform a travel action, which we have just done, roll one die on a five or six, we get rid of the hunted condition. So, here we go. No, a three. He's still hunted. <clears throat> That's too bad. But there are worse things. All right. Um, next, we'll be moving to uh, Michael McGlynn over in Africa. All right. There's Michael. Um, in space 10, which does have a clue token. We're going to move him to a different one, though. For his first action, we're going to travel to space 15 so that we can then, for his second action, actually take advantage of his ability, because he is now on a city space. Uh, he may gain one item or service asset. We, we have to take a wanted condition. But... Um, I still want to do this. <laughs> he's going to gain. He can gain a service. Uh, we're going to give him... He's going to pick up the Consecration. Uh, when you gain this card, which doesn't want to focus, you immediately gain one boon condition, then discard the card. And we're hoping that... Yes, picking from the bottom of the deck, we have... He is now blessed. Hopefully making it easier for him to do things that need to get done. But now we will just uh, have a quick look for a wanted condition. You cannot perform the Acquire Assets action. Well, he can just use his special ability to do so instead. And on a, if we roll a 4, 5, or 6 when he travels, we can get rid of it. Um, on a Reckoning, we will have to test his 
observation and flip the card if we fail. His observation is just one, but he is now blessed and um, I'm hoping it'll be worth it to, uh, and that it will help him get stuff done. So in the reserve, we're going to replace the consecration with no, a task, specialized training. When you perform a focus action, you may consult experts to train you, test will. If you pass, discard this card and improve a skill. All right. That's not bad. Um, all right, that's Michael's turn. Now we'll be moving to Norman Withers. All right. There's Norman in Arkham. First thing Norman is going to do is rest, uh, which will put him back up to four sanity. He's still at his full five health. However, we're in taking the rest, we are going to try to get rid of his paranoia before it activates. We've been lucky so far. Uh, so we're going to roll. We want to roll a five or a six. Uh, Norman. No, he rolled a three. He's still potentially paranoid. And his other effect that happens during a rest is he's going to try to open the stone chest again by uh, using his strength, which is three. So we'll grab three dice for him. Put that back down there. Well, we just need one success. We got a success. So let's see what goodies the stone chest has in it. At first you wondered why such an object was stored with so much protection. You see now that whoever had sealed the chest had the right of it. If an object of such power were to find its way into the wrong hands, the entire world could be endangered. Gain one artifact, then discard this card. Alright, let's get rid of that and take the top card. Go, oh, get that. The scales of Thoth, which, yeah, gain plus two to all skills if your health and sanity are equal. That's weird. But on a reckoning, we have to lose either one health and or one sanity. I guess which could lead us to having equal health and sanity. That's an odd one. But yeah, there's scales. Okay. Well, don't know if that's great, but we'll see what comes of it. All right, uh, so our final investigator to do actions is going to be Joe Diamond. Okay, there's Joe, not so far away. He's uh, just up in Greenland. Um, we want him to stay there because we want him to collect that token. Please, Joe. All right, uh, so we are going to, um, well, there's really only a couple of things he can do staying on this base. The first is get himself a second focus token. And the other is to rest, which will bring him back up to Three sanity and five health. Yes, in case you missed the caption last episode, I, uh, I goofed when I had Joe take two sanity damage from the uh, combat with the cultist, as he had recently acquired the tattered cloak, which. Uh, you lose one fewer sanity when that sort of thing happens. So he was actually only knocked down to two sanity, but now he's up to three after resting. Uh, also while resting, you can try to activate the Canopic Jar. Again, uh, we perform a Rex action. The spirits of the dead whisper to you, will minus one. Which will only be two dice. Nope. 
no extra goodness for for Joe. All right. I just realized I forgot to do my second action with Norman, who you can just see in the corner here. Uh, I'm just going to move him over to <clears throat> space five, inch him towards a clue token. Uh, he won't get there before the, uh, the 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 mystery is either solved or goes away. But we might still need clue tokens once we flip over. I don't know. So yeah, moved him to space five to get him towards the clue token out in the Pacific Ocean. All right, now everybody's actions are done. And it's time to, fingers crossed, go into the encounter phase. Okay, Skids, doing a research encounter on a city space. Let's see if we can make an Eldritch token appear that we can pick up next turn. All right. City doesn't want to focus. Rec. Whoops. Sorry. Right. Records indicate that an old shrine should be located in the area, but hundreds of years of construction have hidden it. Observation minus one. His observation is three. Oh boy. It does have a focus token. He rolled a two and a three. Uh, it's too bad there wasn't a one, because he gets to re-roll all ones. Instead, we're going to spend his focus token. Get that one out of the way. And four. No, I have a feeling we're not going to get this mystery solved before a syzygy flips. All right. Uh, if you fail, the search drives you mad. Lose two sanity. Well, he's still got three sanity. At least he wasn't too low. When that happened, uh, however, I'm pretty sure that's going to ruin our chances of solving the mystery, but we'll, we'll see. Let's, um, let's see what Michael McGlain can get done. Okay. Michael on a city space doing a research encounter. Get that to focus and flip it over. The relic is pivotal to the machinations of the followers of the idiot god. Okay. Uh, you won't let them keep it. Observation minus one. Oh lord, his observation's one. He is blessed. So we've got a 50-50 chance of actually getting this. He does have two focus tokens. I think we might use... Oh, but he rolled a four. Thank God for the blessing. If you pass, you replace it with a clever imitation. Michael's sneaky. Um, gain this clue and one relic unique asset. Well, first things first, the clue, which we will then spend, as per the mystery, to make an Eldritch token spawn on the nearest, uh, the nearest wilderness space that does not already have an Eldritch token. So that's going to be right next door in the heart of Africa. A couple things to do there now. And he gets a relic unique asset. That's Pulling from the bottom. There we are. A stone tablet. When you perform a rest action, you may attempt to decipher the carvings on the tablet, lower minus one. If you pass, flip the card. Uh, so lower is only two. Oh well. Um, all right. Michael McLean did what he needed to do. Good, Michael. Um, now it's time for uh, Norman Withers. All right. There's Norman. It's phase five in the middle of North America, so he'll just get a generic city encounter. 
The city is home to an exclusive club for world travelers. Well, we all qualify. We try to convince them that granting you a membership would be a prestigious feather in their cap. Well, of course it would. Influence minus what? Well, is influence is one. Keep getting all their worst uh, their worst stats. All right. Rolling a single die. Ah, uh, nope, that was not flat. Roll the four. All right. If... Come on, you can do it. If you pass, the other members will graciously help you with your future travel plan, gain a ship, and a... Okay, well, nothing bad happens for failing. You just don't get a ship and a train ticket. Which would have been nice, but are not, not deal breakers. All right, uh, we're going to shift up just a little bit. And uh, see, how, see how Joe Diamond does against the cultist again. All right. Joe. Let's see if Joe can do this. Joe and his security squad. We've got to do, of course, first the horror check. Will plus one to prevent, as it turns out, two sanity damage. His will is three. Minus one is two. No, no, wait. It's plus one. <laughs> so important. As annoying as the cultists it are, they're not especially terrifying. Two successes, which we got. Okay, no, uh, no horror effects. Then we'll be testing our strength, except with his security squad, he gets to test influence instead. Try to, well, prevent one damage and do three against it. It now has a toughness of three. Um, his influence is five, so he will get to roll call the dice, and he does have um, two focus tokens. Come on, Joe. He got one. Okay, we're going to spend one focus token to re-roll one of the dice. That's a success. Getting rid of that. And no, he failed, so there's no point in doing the and spending the other focus token. So yep. Joe Joe let us down. Way to go, Joe. Uh not that Skids did any better on his encounter. I'm pretty certain this means that we will not be able to finish our second mystery before Syzygy flips, so we will just have to deal with the consequences. But let's see what happens in the dreaded Mythos phase. Maybe we'll get astoundingly lucky, although I doubt it. All right, here we go. Hey, snowflakes! Not it won't be horribly, horribly terrible. It might still be terrible, but not quite as. Uh, all right, unsurprising. First, we move the omen track, which, yes, causes Doom to advance by one, because we do have a single green gate. There is no way we were getting to that in time. Um, the other gates are, yes, red and blue. Uh, yeah, we might want to... I think in next turn we might just go to the pyramids and try to close that because... Uh, here, not... Well, okay, we've got a couple of turns before it turns red. We, we still might be able to do the second one, the, uh, the second mystery. Anyway, we'll see. Ah, uh, yes. Of course, Reckonings. First up, 
the monsters, yes, the Cathilla will cause the nearest investigator to get attacked by a deep one. Uh, okay, we're pretty far away, so that's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, okay, it's only three travel points to, oh wait, one, two, three, okay, so we can choose. Seem to be equidistant from Skids and Michael. Well, I'm going to have it attack Michael because he's blessed and has himself a big old gun. Um, all right, first thing he's got to do is the horror check, trying to prevent two horror using his will, which is three. But three blessed. Okay, yes, two successes, blocked the horror. Then uh, strength minus one to prevent one damage to himself. Either way, the deep one will go away. So his strength is four, minus one is three, but add another four for his Tommy gun. We really just need one success here. And we got a couple. We don't need to keep rolling. All right. That's the Cathilla done. Anything else have a reckoning? The cultists don't actually have a reckoning effect. The Shoggoth, oh, um, just recovers all health. But he hasn't been hurt, so it doesn't matter. And the werewolf has an effect. Move this monster one space towards the nearest investigator. Then each investigator on this space uh, loses one health. <clears throat> yeah, unfortunately he can. It, yeah, the werewolf can reach skids. So skids is going to lose a health. He's down to four. That is all for monsters. Ancient One does not have Reckoning. We have no Mythos cards with Reckoning effects. So, uh, Possessions. Start with Skids. Mm -hmm. Right, his Enchant Weapon spell, he needs to test his lore and then flip the card. His lore is only two. Grab the regular dice. Zero successes. So what happens there? The magic feeds on your mental stamina. Discard this card unless you impair will. It's, uh, this hasn't really been... Not yeah. Oh dear, he can... You know what? I'm gonna lose it. We, we haven't been using it all that much. If at all. Uh, next possession. Uh, okay, Malcolm McGlenn does have his blessed condition. We roll a one, well, we roll, and on a one or two, lose his blessed condition. Oh boy. I really hate to lose this now. <laughs> we just got it. Two, of course. Uh, Michael's no longer blessed. Black. All right, he's got a uh, condition, but we're doing possessions. All right, Norman has a couple of possessions, or, well, non conditions. So, thanks to Sir William, we get to spawn a clue. So, we've picked one, and it's going to be on space nine. Oh, up in Greenland. And these, his scales kick in. Uh, lose one health and or one sanity. Well, we'll lose a health because that will make his health and his sanity even, which means he now does get plus two to all skills. For the time being, anyhow. 
and Joe Diamond has nothing. Okay, now, conditions. Uh, skids, right, he's got his blight, which just flips over. And he's got to... Oh, wait. Uh, yes, the allies you surround yourself with act erratically and without cause. Flip this card. For an instant, you see evil in your friend's eyes. Resolve one effect of your choice. Yikes. Gain one madness condition, then flip the card. Or... Lose three sanity. That would he, we would lose him and impair observation and will. Then discard the card. Oh Lord! Well, we're gonna lose him if we do the second one. So I guess he's going to get a madness condition. And from the bottom, he's going to get. Potential hallucinations. Now, I'm not sure if this has to be tested this turn. If this counts or not. Um, I guess I better do it just in case. And if it turns out I'm wrong, I'll, I'll look it up. And if it turns out I'm wrong, I'm wrong I will um, undo it. Uh, so, his hallucinations, we're just going to test will. Fortunately, his will is four. So whether or not it happens now may not be relevant. Yes, he got two successes. So either way, no effect. He does also have, Skids has got his hunted condition. I'm going to test his observation, which is three... Drop the die. I've got a spare. Oh, and he failed. Oh dear, what happens? He gets caught up. You see horrible creatures and shadowed figures everywhere you look. Those, these terrible beings will follow you to the very ends of the earth. Lose two sanity. Just gonna knock him down to one. And gain a hallucinations condition. Well, he's already got hallucinations. So he doesn't have to grab another one of those, at least. But that does knock him down to a single sanity. Ugh. Michael McGlynn has got to test his observation. Oh, observation is one. To um, avoid his wanted. Uh, let me double check. Once per round, you may re-roll one die when resolving a pursuit condition effect. Okay. He will get to re-roll the one die if he fails it. And he's got a couple of focus tokens. Oh, but he got it right away. Roll to six. Michael McGlynn remains free. Norman, and this will be it for the Reckonings, has got his paranoia to test. So we'll be rolling his will, which is five. Okay, it's got a success. Right. That's it for the reckonings, and that was terrible. And we will also yes, be spawning a gate. Spec things are about to go downhill. And the Himalayas. Right there. It's a red gate. And we will dig into the monster bag and get... Oh, the uh, Chocho again we managed to get rid of earlier, but he's returned. You defeat this monster during a combat encounter, gain a random item asset from the deck. We'll be there on the Himalayas. All right, the rest of the card. 
If this vision is true, you have confronted the Dark Pharaoh many times over the course of many lives. Oh, have we? Uh, each incarnation has been preparing you for this final battle. Visions of past lives. Event. The lead investigator tests will. Then he improves the number of skills equal to his test result. Well, that's not terrible at all. Of that, that'll be skids. Skids, who we may lose very shortly anyway, because he's only down to one sanity. So this may not help us much in the long run, but yeah, let's just roll his will of four. And we got two, whoops, knocked it over, but there were two successes, a five and a six. So, let's see, what do we want to improve? I'm gonna, well, first of all, improve his influence, because his influence is terrible at one. So let's um, just improve that. And another one. Let's go ahead, it's his best stat, but I'm going to improve his strength in case there's more terrible things to fight, because they will... There will be terrible things to fight. Um, so yeah, the actual event on the Mythos card was just fine. Uh, the Reckonings kind of hammered us there a little. And yeah, we got more gates. Um, yeah, we're going to have to try to close some of these gates because otherwise Doom's going to start going down a lot quicker. Uh, I think we've got two more, yeah, we've got two turns at most to try to get this mystery solved before Syzygy is going to flip, no matter what. All right, well, we'll see what the future holds for us. Um, <laughs> it's starting to look bad. Well, thanks everybody for watching. Um, thanks very much for all the subscriptions and the likes and encouraging comments and all. That's very much appreciated. And we will see you next time as we play yet another turn of Eldritch Horror. So long.